Hello YouTube, it's Alex. Um, welcome to my man cave. This is my uh, music room um, that I, uh, in the basement of my apartment where I um, practice. So you can see my bass over here and uh, the drums back there. Um, being very musically involved, this is pretty much one of my favorite places to be. Um, but at any rate, uh, the topic this week for FPM Kickstart is organized sports. Um, I've been watching the Olympics on and off, uh, as probably most people around the world have been over the last couple weeks. Um, it's been, uh, yeah, I mean, really cool. I, I definitely enjoy watching them. Um, but outside of that, I mean... I don't really participate in organized sports. Um, growing up, I played basketball for a short period, golf. Um, I did swim for a while, but all I did all of those when I was identifying as um, female. So it was never really an issue in terms of whether I was allowed to play or whether I was discriminated against for being trans. Um, since I was really young, I've been playing tennis, and that's the main sport that I've kept up with, you know, to present day. Um, these days I play tennis two or three days a week, but I play, um, with individual tennis partners, so I'm not, like, a part of, um, you know, like, a, a team or a club or anything. Um, so I haven't really had any issues there. One interesting thing, kind of not really so much about organized sports, but about my experience, I guess, of um, playing tennis as, uh, as male, because um, I played for so long as female. I uh, found a new tennis partner that um, I've been playing with for the last three, four weeks, and um, he's a great guy, and we're just really well matched. Uh, he's a bit older than me, but you know he's in <laughs> better shape than I am, so we're a really good uh, match for each other. And, um, you know, he just sees me, you know, as a guy, as a bio guy. I mean, he would never think any differently of me. And sometimes I realize that when, you know, he'll say certain things that aren't necessarily sexist, but things that let me know, you know, that kind of remind me that, oh yeah, he is just seeing me as, you know, as a bio guy. I can't think of a particular thing, but it kind of came up the other day. He said something and I was like... Oh yeah, you know, here's somebody who uh, who does not know about my, you know, trans status. So, um, I don't know, that was kind of cool. Um, I wish I had more to contribute on this topic. I just don't really have much to say. I think it's unfortunate that trans athletes are discriminated against um, because of their trans status. I mean, we are who we are, and... People of all gender identities and statuses enjoy sports, and it's unfortunate that this part of our lives that likely has very little to do with, you know, the sports we play or our ability to play those sports, it just comes under such, you know, close scrutiny. Um, it's really unfair. But, um, yeah, I mean, I... Some of the other guys on the channel are from the Chicago area. Um, I know that there's um, some more community-oriented um, leagues that are trans-friendly, which is awesome. Um, I've never in, been involved with them in any way, but I know that they exist, and I'm sure um, you know somebody else will say something about that. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Um, Alright, talk to you guys next week.